Apostrophe CMS Onboarding Series Technical Overview Your success with Apostrophe really requires knowing foundational JavaScript and then learning how Apostrophe handles this code. In this section, we'll review the tech stack that powers Apostrophe and provide links to learn more about each below the video. Node.js is a popular server-side JavaScript runtime that allows JavaScript to run on the back end. This means that developers can use the same language for both client-side and server-side programming, which reduces context switching and can simplify the development process. Node.js is intended for use outside of a browser context. As such, the environment omits browser-specific JavaScript APIs and adds support for more traditional OS APIs, including HTTP and file system libraries. Here are some of the main features of Node.js. It's cross-platform. Node.js can run on a variety of operating systems, including OS X, many flavors of Linux, Solaris, and FreeBSD, and many more. While it can run on Windows, it's highly recommended to use the Windows subsystem for Linux for development. It's open source. Node.js is an open source project, which means that anyone can contribute to its development or use it for their own projects. Node.js is built around an event-driven architecture that uses a single thread for processing requests. This makes it highly scalable and very fast. It was designed to optimize throughput and scalability in web applications. It's asynchronous. Node.js uses a non-blocking API, which means that it can handle multiple requests simultaneously without blocking other requests. This makes it ideal for building real-time applications like chat apps and multiplayer games. Node.js comes with a package manager called NPM, which gives developers access to hundreds of thousands of reusable packages. NPM also has a best-in-class dependency resolution, which makes it easy to manage dependencies in your project. There is a very active third-party ecosystem and developer community around Node.js, which means that there are many packages available for a wide variety of use cases. With Node.js, you can write server-side code in plain old JavaScript, which means that there's less time spent dealing with context shift between languages when you're writing both client-side and server-side code. This can make development faster and more efficient. Express is an unopinionated Node.js web framework and the Node server that Apostrophe is built on. Express is designed to add specific handling for different HTTP verbs, such as get, post, delete, etc. It provides tools for routing, serving static files, and using server-side templating engines for dynamic responses. Here are some of the main features of Express. Express is one of the most popular Node.js frameworks. That means it's easy to find tools, or help from the community. Express is an open source project, which means that anyone can contribute to its development or use it for their own projects. Express allows developers to easily configure common web application settings, such as port connections or template locations for response rendering. Express makes it easy to control cookies, sessions, user logins, URL parameters, post data through added functions or external packages coming from NPM known as middlewares. This can simplify the development process and make it easier to add complex functionality to your application. Apostrophe uses MongoDB, a secure, NoSQL document-based database engine. While originally powered by V8 like Node.js, it now uses the comparable SpiderMonkey engine. MongoDB was chosen because of its fluent JavaScript-based API, its safety from SQL injection style attacks, developer friendliness, and its support for documents with varying schemas in the same collection. It is schemaless. Unlike SQL databases, no schema is needed to define a record called a document in MongoDB. Schemas are still used by Apostrophe, but these are dynamic schema. It enables evolution with ease. Migrations are not needed to add, delete, or update a field in the document, although migrations are still possible. It's based on JSON. Documents are JSON items, meaning they can have a structure that easily fits into the JavaScript world. They can have a nested structure allowing hierarchical data. There's high performance and scalability. MongoDB is known for its high performance and scalability and is designed to handle large amounts of data and high traffic. This makes it a very popular choice for many applications. The Apostrophe Content Query API is designed to facilitate common and advanced requests to the MongoDB database without requiring developers to know advanced MongoDB syntax. 
Nunchucks is used by Apostrophe to render views, and it provides tons of features, extensibility, and a syntax nearly identical to many Django-inspired templating languages. It is highly and easily extensible with custom content filters. Basically, Nunchuck templates are HTML files with a special syntax allowing them to display data. Here's some main features of Nunchucks. It has a syntax similar to many Django-inspired templating languages. If you're already familiar with languages such as Twig or Jinja, you'll find Nunchuck's syntax to be very similar. This makes it easy to jump right in and reduces the learning curve. Like those languages, Nunchucks also has support for template inheritance, macros, control structures, and much more. One of the great strengths of Nunchucks is its extensibility. Developers can easily create custom content filters to manipulate data in templates. This allows for a great deal of flexibility when it comes to displaying data in views. Nunchucks templates have block inheritance, allowing them to extend templates. This makes it easy to create reusable templates and reduce the amount of duplicated code in your application. Markup is further reduced through the use of reusable fragments and components that can be imported to any template. This makes it easy to create modular templates that can be reused across your application. Now that we've reviewed Apostrophe's tech stack, we'll next move on to Apostrophe core concepts.